In the 19th century, European powers made many attempts to penetrate the interior of Africa. They didn't know anything about Africa. By sending explorers and scientists, these powers appreciated the hardships of the Dark Continent as Africa was known then in a derogative way. They designed the means to surmount these hardships. Missionaries followed the explorers and scientists. Around that time, James Hannington was born on the 3rd of September 1847 in Hartpier Point, Success in England. At the time, many Europeans struggled to leave a mark in their country's history as having traveled the world, including Africa. Hannington joined clerical life with his eye open on exploring Africa. He first set foot in Africa in 1882. However, due to tropical diseases, he returned to England, but in 1884, the Church Missionary Society sent him back as the first bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa, which covered inland Buganda. The second journey led him to Mombasa in present-day Kenya. He then connected to Busoga, which neighbors Buganda in the east. NTV visited Chando village, Bunya sub county in Mayuge district, where Huntington camped but was later killed here on the orders of Kabaka Mangaba Samulekere of Buganda. We met a resident, Ronald Buire, who has been the caretaker of Huntington's memorial site for many years. Buire may not look the part, but he has a rich history of this site on his fingertips. Bishop Huntington used to hide in this cave. It's big and comfortable. Not even rain could reach him. The commonly told story here is that Huntington accidentally landed in Mombasa. When he reached Nyanza, he decided to continue to Buganda through Busoga. He docked at Namakoko in Nankoma. He stayed there for a while, but people there did not welcome him. It said he then camped at the foot of this hill to rest, but unfortunately, this is where he made his death. Bishop Huntington's followers used to trek to this hill and sit on these stones that you see, while he stood just above there to preach to them. Although he didn't convert many to Christianity, his presence in this place to date is still significant, not only to the church, but also to the entire nation. At that time, Busoga was under Buganda Kingdom and Kabaka Daniel Basamulekere Butagari Mwanga II had chosen Luba as the chief of this area. Chief Luba reported Bishop Huntington's arrival here to the Kabaka. Kabaka Mwanga told Chief Luba that he had dreamt that he would lose his throne to a stranger who would emerge from the east of Buganda. So, he told Luba to kill Huntington. Mwanga, who was later to order the killing of the Uganda martyrs, had had enough of the missionaries, and this time he wasn't ready to take chances. He took action. Forty-eight of Huntington's helpers were killed while he was tortured. When the Baganda force raided, they found Huntington in the other cave which acted as his library. He was reading a book. They dragged him to a stone in a wetland and forced him to climb a rock there, which he couldn't do. He was later dragged and hugged to death on this rock, which is still standing inside this shed. Huntington was killed on the 29th October 1885. He was 38 years old. His body was taken back to Nyanza and buried there, but later his family brought his remains back to Uganda and finally he was laid to rest at Namirembe, the seat of the Anglican Church in Uganda. The church is trying to turn this place around to attract tourists and cottages have been constructed for accommodation. However, there is still a lot of work to do. These cottages don't meet the necessary standards. Bishop Huntington's killing was the beginning of the persecution of Christians in Buganda. The climax was in 1886 when Kabaka Mwanga ordered the killing of the Uganda martyrs, Solomon Kawesa. 
NTV.